Shir Patel here. I wanted to talk to you about the importance of deep sleep. So deep sleep is a level of sleep that we also call stage three sleep, which is characterized by very slow brain activity or electrical activity when we actually read your brain activity during a sleep study. It's a very important level of sleep, but we typically spend an average of about 15% of total sleep time sleeping in this level of sleep. Now it's important because several different bodily functions and restorative functions actually occur during deep sleep, but there are several reasons why a person may not get enough deep sleep, and there are several ways that you can actually help to ensure that you get plenty of deep sleep, as this is important. Now, one of the ways to recognize if you're not getting enough deep sleep is if you're sleeping at least seven, eight hours per night, and you find that, you know what, I slept well, but I still didn't feel rested when I woke the next morning, or I was noticing that I just was having a hard time paying attention, staying focused, carrying out my daily tasks, or even just remembering simple little things, this could be indicative that you may not be getting good quality sleep, i.e. you're not getting enough deep sleep. Um, other ways that you can also determine if you're not getting enough deep sleep would be actually undergoing a sleep study. So when we do a sleep study in the sleep lab, which is called a polysomnography, that in turn entails us placing electrodes on the scalp, which in turn will allow us to be able to read your brain electrical activity while you're asleep. And through the different characteristics of the brain waves, that's the way we're able to tell when a person's in the different four levels of sleep, including deep sleep. Now, there's several reasons why deep sleep is important. It's important for cognitive functioning. We know that memory consolidation can occur during stage three sleep or deep sleep. Also, researchers have shown that deep sleep is also the level of sleep when individuals will have cleaning of the brain, so to speak, or that's when a clearance mechanism called the glymphatic system actually opens up and operates and will start cleaning out metabolic waste from the you know, brain functioning during the day. And one important toxin or protein is called the beta amyloid protein. And ultimately, research has shown over the years that if an individual is not getting enough deep sleep or stage three sleep, this in turn can actually allow these metabolic waste to build up in the brain and potentially form plaques in the white matter of the brain and contribute to development of dementia or Alzheimer's disease long term. Also, muscle repair, tissue repair, regeneration also occurs because growth hormone is actually released during stage three sleep or deep sleep. This is also important in order to allow the body to kind of repair and heal itself especially in individuals that are undergoing cancer treatment or have a history of cancer, there's also a lot of research that's shown that not getting enough sleep and not getting enough deep sleep can also impair the effectiveness potentially of chemotherapy, or it can even potentially promote the increase of cancer cells developing in someone that already has a history of cancer, or it may shorten the duration of remission after having successful treatment for the cancer. Also immune function improves during deep sleep as well. So that's in another important situation that's uh, critical. And I think we can all kind of relate to when we are sleep deprived, we have a tendency to be more apt to potentially get sick or catch a cold compared to when we're actually well rested and getting plenty of sleep because that's, you're actually getting plenty of deep sleep, which in turn strengthens the immune system. There's also a recent uh, research paper published in the European Heart Journal in 2023 which actually showed that exposing an individual to pink noise as a form of background noise actually increased the amount of deep sleep that the brain was getting or slow wave sleep. And that in turn actually helped to improve left ventricular function. The left ventricle is the left bottom chamber of the heart, which is what receives freshly oxygenated blood from the left atrium. And then it pumps it out to the rest of the body to provide fresh oxygen throughout the body. So it was very interesting to see that deep sleep actually is correlated with improvements in heart function on that, in that one specific respect. So if you're having concerns that you're not getting enough deep sleep, or you're concerned that you're not getting good quality sleep, it definitely would be a value for you to be evaluated by a board certified sleep physician to be investigated to see, is there something that could be impacting your quality of sleep that's preventing you from getting the good restorative restful sleep that's important for brain health, cardiac health, immune function, mood regulation, and overall just long-term health and longevity. Thanks.